Hello, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. This is the first one of the day in the world. Yeah, what the fuck is good, y'all? It's your boy Bugs back with the Full Circle Podcast. This is my guy Johnny Bones. What's going on? What the fuck is good, bro. Not shit, dude. Chilling. Dude, that tattoo is fire. Yeah, appreciate I keep, it. I, know, I keep noticing it every time I look at you. And you got the boneyard on there. Yeah, you know that. Shut up. You know, up. <laughs> you know <laughs> boneyard <laughs> shit, man. Let's go. Well, dude, how you yeah. been, bro? Just been working, bro. Getting through life, you know. You know how that shit goes. Yeah, you worked through the whole pandemic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> what we're not going to uh, do is talk about the pandemic. Right? I, I mean, I just never took a day off of that shit, bro. Yeah. Everybody getting the little money. I was getting the big money the you whole were time. essential the whole yeah, fucking time, fucking dog. Right. Yeah. Facts. Well, dude, I love you, bro. Your energy. Johnny mm. Bones, the Boneyard. I just have to start with that. Love you back, You're man. fucking, you're epic, bro. I met you a couple years ago. Under shitty circumstances, obviously, but sometimes the fucking roses happen, and you're one of those people. I was blessed by meeting you in those in those times, dude. So you know that I do bro. have to say thank you. Know you. I love you. Thank bro. you for being a you genuine put, motherfucker. You put me through some shit out here, man. <laughs> I'm telling you what. We well, go. dude, this guy's a beast. But um, so you make music, dude. What got you into making music? Man, I just. It's just random ciphers, man, growing up around rapping. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Everybody doing the shit. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to hop in the cypher. Got this talent, dog. I, 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 I let it speak for itself. That's it. You're probably fucking them ciphers up. And obviously, everybody knows that I do the fucking ciphers and shit, Yeah, too. I was real young, dude. I was real young. I was like 10 years old doing the cypher. Oh, bullshit. shit. Yeah. I didn't start rapping until I was yeah, 18. Yeah, I was just doing it because I was, you know what I mean, different mm-hmm. places. I moved to a lot of different places. And grew all up, in Jersey, all Jersey, never left the state till mm. like I was like 17. I went to Florida. <laughs> Did you so, live there? No, nah, I just moved. I just oh, went like out you, there never to, le- I, you never yo, left the state I of never, Jersey, only Philly. You know that though. that's like the same thing. Word, yeah, it ain't about nothing, but pretty much, yeah. So, word, so you were just ciphering at 10 years old and shit, yeah, trying to, trying to. <laughs> I wasn't no, word, trying word. to just remember that. I, don't I just would happen. freestyle after school smoking when I was like 13 and shit. I didn't, I didn't like really. Oh, we better consider fire that up shit. then. Facts. Let's, let's do a little do it, smoky do it, do smoke. It, do it. <laughs> Fucking um, a little smoky smoke. Johnny always comes through with the pack for me, yo. I've been smoking dabs, so when we smoked that John earlier, I got so fucking stoned. Just be careful with the couch, bro. Just be careful with the ash and the couch and shit. Yeah, relax. Relax. <laughs> Fucking, um... We're gonna be all right, What towns did you live in? In well, Jersey? I can't, I can't... Oh, man, I can't name them all, dude. There's a lot. Wow, so you were around like that. Yeah, I mean... I could list names and names and well, names. Well, all right, let's towns. do the schools. What schools? All right, so... I went from, like... Morristown, Magnolia. Morris or Moore? Morris Town. Morris. Right. Morris Town, West Deptford, Gloucester City, uh, Marlton, uh, Berlin, <laughs> Everywhere. Berlin, Sicklerville, Clementon, it's Camden, like you were all down through 70 and 70. Dude, I must have lived in every town around this motherfucker at least for like a month or two. Jersey has so many towns, dude. Like, have that's so not many... even on me. That was only as a kid. My mom, man, she was on some shit. Mm. But, you know. It makes you stronger as an individual. Facts. Yeah, you're a strong motherfucker, bro. Your hands are fucking huge. We were talking about that. Put your put up your fist real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's fucking fuck. <laughs> like I was saying, like Rick and Ralph, like your yeah. fist is the same size as your forearm. It's fucking. You should be a boxer, bro. You're not too old. You could you could be a boxer. Uh, I'm gonna stick to the music shit. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> you can beat somebody the fuck up though. Boxers don't get paid that much in the beginning, bro. A lot of fighters don't get paid much in the beginning. It's My crazy. guy, man. Nair Albright, mm-hmm. dude, from around the way in Westville, bro. Is he nice? Yo, he just, he just literally, he was fighting on that Triller fight. Oh, word. Yeah, fucking beat the brakes off this man, dude. Facts. Yo, crazy. Boxing is not, I definitely got to get a, like, like yo, I want to get a UFC fight in. I want to get a real boxing match in. I got to get a couple of them really in. Document the whole shit. Perform before and after. I'm trying to fight somebody. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you definitely are all the time, dude. I swear to God, <laughs> I'm such a nice person, though. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, that I got a battle. I, I got a battle that <coughs> that demon that wants to fucking kill people, dude. I'll tell you what, we'll go out Atlantic City boardwalk and let you just smack, <laughs> pap a dude again, pap something. another dude. In oh the yeah, face. what happened to you and AC? The tell that story. Oh man, all right, I'm gonna say no names. 
but oh word i forgot i forgot it was like in the group i yeah, thought i forgot yeah, it, wasn't it wasn't no random, random shit man that, you know it happens with the liquor a bro. lot of random shit liquor, happens in AC, liquor yeah. and friends sometimes don't mix too good <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, well, we were having a bachelor party. I hate that. Like, I have, I have a couple friends who are like, you take three drinks with them, and they are you can't be with you don't want to be with anyone else in the fucking world. But and then they get six. that fourth, five, six. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, and they turn into a fuck that demon that I was just thought they turn into. Yeah, man. And then they start wanting to come at you. Like that's what happened. Somebody wanted to step out of their place and come at me and test you. Fuck that. Do not. Do not step to me <laughs> on some bullshit. Johnny Bo's like, what? What's good? I don't give a fuck if you beat my ass or not, bro. I mean, you step to me. It's, it's on. It's no, it's no fucking, it's no hesitation on the matter. Like, I mean, your love language is a punch to the face. Yeah. So it's like, if someone's mean, you're going to be like, like. I don't like the bad vibes. I'm all about the positivity, man. You know what I mean? So am I. But like, just like you said, for some reason, there is there is that switch, man. We all have that switch. Some people rage. Some people are calm about it. Some people bitch about it online. I try to at least let it be known that I'm like that, so it ain't just like Some an abrupt thing. You, so they yeah. don't just like think they could get away with. It. I'm, I yeah. kind of make it known, like people mistake bro, kindness nice for all. weakness. It's weird. But, like <coughs> I always like to set the boundaries. Like I tell somebody, <laughs> give them a couple warnings, but you know I don't like that shit, bro. I just disrespect this fucking ridiculous yeah it um especially in your own friends bro like you don't you're supposed to be boys people act crazy well whatever when when i get drunk people can't tell when i'm drunk i'm sorry i went to grab that <laughs> <laughs> gotta be quicker than that fucking um gotta be quicker than when that. i get drunk people don't know that i'm drunk <laughs> so when I was beginning in the beginning of my party partying days and shit, I would be like half a bottle in because you know I don't drink beer and shit. I would be half a bottle in, and people wouldn't know that I was drunk at all. So I was like, "That's like Kid Rock." You heard what he said on that song, "Cocky." <laughs> I love Kid Rock. He said, too. "Drink a fifth of gin." He said, "Drink a fifth of gin bean and still stand still." I'm like, "What? This man's nuts." I went and saw it. But what happened the other day is I, I had three Jack on Jack on the Rocks and I was fucking lit. Like I can't <laughs> believe I used to drink half half a bottle. Like Dude, I love my whiskey. Dude, dude Kid Rock though was the second concert I ever went to in my life. He was bro, he was I love rock. Kid Rock. I've never seen him in concert, bro, until like bike week. A couple months How ago. How was bike week? <laughs> dude. Oh, that's a great topic, dude. What it kind was of Harley do you have? Twenty nineteen Road Glide, man. Got the one oh seven cammed out and got the fucking tuners boy that thing is bad out of hell <laughs> i wish that's, i was my terrified ride, of motorcycles you'll get out of it you you'll think? get out of it oh yeah you better because i mean you ain't living I right fuck with jet skis same fucking well not the same thing kind of i fuck with quads but dirt bikes and shit bro if you don't if you don't ride a motorcycle once that shifting is fucking weird bro it's a different kind of feeling in life bro yeah, Hopping on, on a, a motorcycle, motorcycle and just being free, dog. Like, you just go wherever just the fuck you want. being able to cruise. You can... Bro, I, I went to Maryland for the first time in my life. I'd never been to Maryland before. Mm -hmm. I drove my bike from Jersey all the way to Bike Week, Maryland by myself and went out there. How long is it? <laughs> it was all week. I went out for no, a like weekend. No, like, how long did it take to drive there? Oh, three hours, it says on a GPS. <laughs> oh, so, like, a three nice bike ride going through mountains and it shit? Says, it's, it's no mountains. It's flat land, like a motherfucker, dude. Oh, word. Just flat as fuck, dude, all the way there. It's got, uh... I mean, you start... You, you, you go through this part for, like, an hour and a half. I mean, it, took, it says three hours on a GPS. I made it there in, like... Like, maybe two hours and 20 minutes. You know what I mean? I'm fucking on the bike, bro. The, I'm out. <laughs> like, I'm a, so like 150 the whole way there. You be wearing a helmet? Yeah, but Delaware, you don't have to. What kind of helmet? Like, the... the um, that's they call, not going to protect call, shit. They ain't go, it's a brain, the, something for them to pick your brains off the road with. That's all it is. <laughs> that's all it is. They ain't doing nothing. I mean, not even that full face is really going to do nothing for you when you're fucking yeah, flying I off of 150. I would need the... Um, the speed racing crotch rocket, crotch, crotch rocket outfit with like the pads and yeah, but I'm saying it, it definitely is good to have safety equipment. Me, 
I'm rocking shorts. I wear fucking flip flops. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I that's wear the a only tank way. top. I wear fucking just. <laughs> that's a, the only way to like actually, I guess, really enjoy it. That's why dude, jet I'm skis not fucking. Are, dr- I'm not dressing are up in that shit. Jet skis. You, are you pretty see much... some of these bikers out here, bro? Full leather suit, like fucking chaps, dude. Well, leather is gnarly. Leather is save your life. I wear a vest. You know what I mean? Like I wear fucking leather jackets and shit, but I ain't gonna wear no chaps, dog. Oh, like on some yeah. broke back mountain shit. That's something different. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's to keep your fucking <clears throat> jeans from. It's what do you, do you take? Well, do they take the chaps off before they go in the bar? I'm not dead. Or do I, they I leave don't the hang chaps? With nobody on. with chaps on. <laughs> I, I ain't never seen one in the bar. Did with you chaps. see any fights there? What down in fucking Ocean City? Yeah, I'm good on this. Uh, any fights? Yeah, like you were at Bike Week. There was no fights. I'm trying to think, dude. Well, only time I did see one weird, I was in the Kid Rock concert, sitting in the fucking crowd, right? And this dude's trying to cut through the crowd to get to his peoples, mm-hmm. and the people standing next to me, fucking, I guess he's trying to cut through them. He pushed that motherfucker, right? <laughs> and he fucking pushed him right into me, hard as shit, bro. Made me take a step. I'm oh, like, so you were about to be the fight. Not like he pushed the dude into me, and I turned around, grabbed that bull, and I fucking just threw him <laughs> in the crowd, bro. <laughs> threw him in the crowd, bro, and I was, I started screaming at the dude next to me like, <coughs> don't fucking push that motherfucker into me, bro. I swear to God, you don't know who you're fucking with. I started black, <laughs> and I'm drunk as hell, bro, bumping out the kid rock. What the fuck do you expect? <laughs> These motherfuckers out here snapping, dude. I'm like, what? <laughs> I never even really listened to kid rock. I mean, back when I was when he was popping back in the day, I would hear he him He had some shit. good songs, He has dude. great songs. I didn't really know until the I saw him perform them. Put your picture <laughs> away. Oh, my classic, bro. That song is so fucking like really good i don't know if he wrote it though we're gonna have to look that up fucking that song is fucking fire we had a couple other ones he he remade he did like a remix of that one song sweet home alabama yeah he remixed that shit yeah fucking um (coughs) what's your favorite color what do you think dude red why blood (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Blood. Why do you like blood so much? <clears throat> it's a good fucking question, bro. Yeah, what's with you and blood? Blood and bones, dog. <laughs> Go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Fact. That was a good little plug. <clears throat> I don't know, bro. You don't know the horror reason, movies. Like, I, I've you've not, always I've, liked horror movies. I never since did. I was a kid. That's what I'd watch. I guess that's what they would put on. I would the always TV. watch. I would always watch. They would comedies. put that on the TV. I would for only me. watch comedies. Dude, they put that on the TV. I used to watch Chucky, Jason, Michael Myers. See, I never watched. They any only of that. had that on for me for some reason. I don't know why, but who's yeah, they? My parents. Oh, word. <laughs> <laughs> you were just saying they. I wasn't they. sure. Oh uh, yeah, uh, they did. They the did fucking it. Boneyard. <laughs> nah, man. See, I only watch comedies. See, that explains a lot about your personality and what molded what you like and shit. Yeah. You uh, like blood and gore because you grew up watching it. Watching I like it goofy and, shit because I grew up watching yeah, goofy don't shit. Don't get it fucked up. I love me some comedy. Like, mm-hmm. I was driving up north today Everyone and f- for work comedy. for like two and a half hours. The drive up North Jersey. And the whole time, like, I was playing fucking stand up comedy. Just, just listening to That's all I listen to. Bro, it's just funny as shit. Me and my man is just smoking the fucking blunts in the work to truck. podcasts and, shit. and comedy. <laughs> That's what I'll listen to. Dave Chappelle is one, uh, one of our front runners today. Did you listen to his new one? <clears throat> Parts of it. I didn't have Netflix on my phone, so I was looking at How do at you part- feel about people freaking out about it? Man, I need to tell them motherfuckers get a grip, bro. That's Dave Chappelle. He's funny <laughs> as hell. <laughs> like, he's joking. It's comedy. You can't take comedy. This fucking world's fucked up. That's fucking great. This world's fucked up, man. Can't take a joke for nothing. Yeah, so um like I have to I have to do something real quick. We'll be right back. I promise. Run up on them with a pulse that they hold low, then I get low again. Down here we all flow, better get your coat, better get cold again. Coming for they throw, cause they wanna smoke, man. I'm about to make them choke again. Pull up in the Nova, pistol fully loaded, about to run them off the road again. Big bike, Harley, yeah, you hear me when I pull up. I got that trap edition Barbie. She gon' flip it, bring me more, I take it back to where it started. Yeah, that was that. This is this. So, uh, this fucking guy over there, I won't say his name. Didn't turn the air conditioner off, so you guys probably heard the air conditioner in the fucking whole beginning of that, but now we're good, now we're 
Sound checked, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, are you stoked for tomorrow? I'm hyped. I'm real hyped. This is he fucking buggy flex? My bro about to go off, yo. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's- dude, this set's crazy. I be I be making my sets gnarly as fuck. So, so when motherfuckers have like 15 minute sets, they'll do like three songs, right? Like, all right, that's enough for three songs because I got to talk shit in between. I do eight songs. Like, there's seven, eight songs. I'm you performing. ain't talking no shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, the music is talking the shit. But I connect them. I make it one MP3. I know what. Bro. So you I be say a I, I have these boy. gaps. Oh, dude, you're talking about talking about breathing and running out of breath. You're gonna be, bro. You're gonna be like working. Well, dude, actually, I work out every day, and at the after my workouts, I run through sets, like random different sets. So that, you're a monster end, with the shit. To end dog. my workout. I'll physically actually perform. Y'all need to go fuck with him. <laughs> Stop playing with him. Like y'all need to come to the show. Y'all don't bro. know who you're fucking with. Like this man is a <laughs> he breathes music. I'm not fucking dude, with dude. So the set that I'm gonna do tomorrow is gonna be fucking wild. Like it, it, it covers every scope besides pop buggy. So everything of bugs besides the pop music. I'm actually gonna rage tomorrow. You never really see me headbanging shit. Are you about to do kick rocks? Yeah, I am doing that. That's my shit. Song. <laughs> <laughs> that's second to last, dude. I can't wait. I'm a because so that you, that's you were doing up. that song. That's you, building up to the build, dude. Up. You were doing that song in that one show in the backyard, right? And in the there, backyard, there was rocks. So I was and you were saying, <laughs> was, and I was literally kicking them to your song because I was like kick rocks. I'm like ah, <laughs> boom. Kick I'm kicking these fucking rocks. I'm like I've, I'm nobody's noticing what I'm doing. I'm just doing it for myself. Like that's fucking it's great. funny as sentimental, <laughs> dude. I kick finally I'm every finally time sh- you said it, I just do it. <laughs> I'm finally shooting the video for that soon with the um with the dude cause clips. Shout out to you, bro. Fucking, we're planning that shit out. That John's gonna be fucking fire. I have this whole vision for it, and he has a whole different vision for it. So we're gonna connect it and <clears throat> make it some gnarly shit. I can't wait for my first music video, boy. It's gonna be fire. What's your favorite thing about performing? The reaction of the crowd, dude. Everybody always reacts different for you. Like I, f- I love the way like like once you really like, oh, once you re- once y'all really start like hey, that's another thing you look at me you don't expect the shit that's about to happen especially if you never no heard it. you don't especially but then when you hear it you're like that's exactly what I would expect though <laughs> <laughs> it's what yeah. I wouldn't expect it but uh, no nah, because it's like every time bro I go into a random ass show and I just start going off they everybody goes from like ah oh, whatever he's all, they're all back turned to me not just, look and then as soon as I start my first couple fucking words I just see everybody. Like, like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's fire, though. Dude, well, <laughs> what I oh, that's the that's the best thing. Like, really, like when you're on stage and you start really everybody's running. Good, when every- you start running, shit, dude, and you get that fucking mm-hmm. crowd's attention. You just have them in your hand, bro. It's like you're like you know you know what you, you know, your next move is about to make them do something crazy. Like, yeah, you, it's like it, you're, you're a like, fucking right here, It's like you you're th- a big old puppet master, like yeah. this, like on the stage, like ah yeah. Because if you dance. got them right there, you know, like okay, what I'm about to do here, you're gonna love that. Yeah, exactly. you know what I mean. Yep. You gotta. It's like you know when you have a, when you're fishing and the fish is right there. Yep, lure them in. <laughs> just just barely just doing jig, that. Jig the rig, baby. <laughs> but everybody, everybody who performs um, has a specific different thing that they're good at when they're when they're performing live you know what i mean like and it's something it could be something so subtle to like the most important part of it which is just strictly performing so like i've always met um hammered my shit about being all around that's why my music is every genre so my performing is just like that but what jay black is good at he's really good at not getting the crowd in because he says, hey, everybody, come here. I'm about to perform. He actually is very good at just making everybody in tune for one moment. It's, shout it's, out it's, to it's, my it's, guy, man. It's different. Yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to my it's, guy, Jay it's Black, different. Dude. It's different than like getting people hype or whatever. It's like, because his music is is that. It, his music like gets you right on that level. It, makes you, it pulls you yeah, in if you ain't listening. Me, I don't give a fuck what everybody's doing at all. The second when I get on the mic, because I know 45 seconds in, everybody will start coming up because they'll, they'll understand, okay, this is different. Yeah, you, my man. When you go on, 
people are excited because they're like, oh, wait, he's one of the performers? Yeah, yeah he's, I'm he's, just standing in the crowd. And then the when you time. go, everybody's like, yeah. They're yeah, like let's this, our like fucking party. Him, bitch. Like, like Todd, Todd, the bassist of my band. I, I don't know if you, I got to show you this clip. There's a clip of, uh, of just the crowd when you were performing. I'll show you it after this. And fucking and Todd never shows anybody love. Like, you no. know what the bass is? Yeah, yeah. And just imagine his face and, and he's in the crowd just like when you're performing. <laughs> like, <laughs> so yeah. fire. But yeah, everybody like I said, like everybody's like hype when you get on stage. Whereas like everybody that's why looks matter, you know? Like that's why people say, quote unquote, do you have the image, you know? And then does the art back up the image and are you a cool person on top of that? You know what I mean? It's that that you have, we have everything. The only thing different now is like social media and shit. And yeah, dude, I'll and just, the presence uh, of how, how people, different people, clout chase. Different I can't people wait, are just dude. Consistently on it. So my dream, bro. My dream is to just ride my Harley on stage and then perform <laughs> yeah, right in front of it. Right. If I could just perform, ride dude, that you bitch should up. Do that on the thirtieth. Well, do it. Pull up in the backyard. Just pull it in the backyard for uh, your set. Yeah. Just, Straight up, start your set. Uh, that would be so. Gnarly. I gotta climb that big ass mountain out there though. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm bottoming out on that hill. That shit big. Unless you, know, you the, it's I not got, that big. If you, oh yeah, it is. It is. Unless you go big. up the driveway, the neighbor's I'll driveway. I'll figure it out, dude. That would be fire. That would be gnarly. No, let's gotta, fucking do it. Let's make that a reality. It's Halloween. Yeah, we got to show. Somebody got light. Me, somebody got to light me on fire and, in that backyard again with the half pipe. Shout out to Righteous Blasphemy. I'll have him on the podcast soon, and we're gonna do a third show, last one, because it's gonna be winter, and then we'll we'll probably get back to venues if they're not mandating these vaccines on some weird shit. I'm good on that. Fucking, but yeah, that you would have perfect space to just. Yeah, it'd be fat. I gotta clean her up real nice. That'd be gnarly. Somebody gotta light me on fire so I can be the ghost rider though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm saying like What are you gonna be? Same thing I always am. What? Michael Myers. Oh word. Either that or Jason, either one. Typical with the mask. I was never a mask wearer. I didn't like the rubber. I love Jason. I never Bro, liked the rubber I was shit all over my with face. With Jason Voorhees, I still am. I got the tattoo right here to prove it. I put that oh, shit, on do. my arm. Like Jason, Friday the Thirteenth, Michael Myers, Halloween. You know what I mean? All that shit. Child's I just play. never liked the masks on my face. Is what I'm saying. <clears throat> well, you just gotta. I'd rather you do just face gotta tap into your inner serial killer. I'd rather do face paint. You shit. gotta tap into your inner serial killer, bro. Like, yeah, but that was his actual skin. He, Michael Myers wasn't wearing a mask. He had that shit sewn on. No, that's not to nah, his skin. Nah, he was wearing a mask. Yeah, the first one. Every one. Yeah, they get um, they get the yanking that shit off his face, dude. You don't even want to yeah, know. I watched it. I watched a new fucking Halloween movie that just came out. I got actually the inner scoop. It comes out tonight, October fifteenth. But I watched her on the fourteenth in the theaters. I'll tell you what, it's all that, bro. <laughs> I don't fuck with horrors, dude. Dude, that's like my biggest thing. I don't know. <clears throat> Either like, I'm, I like me and my old movies, man. These new shits are just kind of ass. I'll be watching Die Hard and shit, Pulp Fiction. A lot of movies are woke. Dude, the old school shit, bro. You ever watch Sopranos? I just started watching that. I didn't start watching that again. It's just so much Italian stuff, and they all talk like this, and (laughs) and the one guy just breathes the whole time. (laughs) Just breathes really loud. (laughs) It's like consistent shooting. I can see why it was like a great, the greatest show then. But Breaking Bad is is really good. You don't watch shows? Breaking Bad? I've been watched that shit. Sons of Anarchy. Breaking you gotta watch Bad Vikings. I you, watch that. <clears throat> you watch Vikings? Yeah. Ragnar Lost. You bro? were a Viking for sure. I a hundred percent am. That, no, Do like, you know anything about heritage. your family bloodline? I don't. I know I know that I'm a <clears> couple <throat> different fucked up things. I'm a whole bunch of shit. But I don't know exactly what. But I You know. don't know what you are? I'm like Welsh, Irish, English, fucking like Norwegian. Yeah, it's like all Celtic area. I'm a Viking, baby. Like, yeah, man. I tell you, I fucking give me a turkey leg. I'll be like, <laughs> oh, yeah. fucking a. What do they say? Skull, <laughs> skull when they drink, man. That's their cheers. That's fucking great. Fucking Viking mythology shit. That man. That's 
Like some shit I've really got into, bro. Like Yeah, that's Thor and shit, right? Yeah, Thor, Odin, you know what I mean? Loki got all the fucking Yeah, it's not really all that Viking mythology shit. Paganism. Yeah. Sacrifices. I mean some of the shit you know I don't agree with, but I do agree with the fucking the fatness of like how they paint the pictures of what it is. Like I'm <laughs> sure it was work. some fucked up shit, bro. No, dude, they were gnarly. They had gnarly like braids and dreadlocks and tattoos and face yeah, I mean, hats like, and shit. They were creative as fuck. To each his own, though, man. Like, shit's crazy. Like, how the world, like, you know. But over just there. all like, came, like, how, over how it. Uh, over there you know, in Ireland. Over the years. Ireland just, like, declared its independence, but that's where Dara's family's from, straight off the fucking John over there. It's so crazy how. Come on, fucking look Irish as shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was Italian when I, when I first met him. But it is so I met weird him how so long ago, when dude. I looked at the map, because I just hadn't <clears throat> looked at the fucking world map in a long time, and I saw how everything over there in the European side, it's like Spain, Italy, fucking all that, all those places, Rome pretty much. I was just like, damn, they're all the same people, but they look so different. You know, and Ireland is right the fuck there. They're all right there, but they all look a little, little bit different. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is really weird. Well, that's because... But you like you look like you're from that spot. Yeah. <laughs> is what I'm saying, for sure. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm wondering. You're like, you ever just think the- about it, like, how, like, if you were just back in time, how your character... Like, say, if you could go back in time, but know everything you know still. Right now? Like, it'd just be, like, this what, advanced... know how the future is? Like, no, just know, like, yeah, well, pretty or much... Or we just be live your have, own life. will we be able to have our shit there? You won't have nothing... You won't have none of the nah, shit. Nah, fuck that. But you know everything. I think it'd be harder to go back to nothing than to go. You don't even have access to it, but you just know of all these things that are going to be there. You and, think it'd be harder to survive without all this like that? Or do you think it'd be harder to have none of it and try to get it? It'd definitely probably be hard. Because if you had the shit before and you're trying to like get And you the lose shit. it and you're trying to get it back, I guess, but... It'd be harder to have everything. I feel like if you had it already, dude, and you lose it all, mm-hmm. you're freaking the fuck out, man. Yeah, and you're, you're, you're freaking the you're fuck fucked. out, man. I can't believe, bro. I'm, I swear on my mother, bro. <laughs> I can't sit in the fucking room with my homies, bro, without like peeking my head up and like from what I'm, whatever I'm doing and just looking, bro. Every motherfucker got a phone in their hand, dude. What's that shit you were talking to me about, like? I don't know how long ago, but it's like the documentary about the fucking shit. phone, like and what the the algorithm of it all, and how it's used to keep people on it. Yeah, exactly. It's literally designed to keep you on it as long as possible. Like, dude, it's weird shit, man. And, it's and not literally, designed. To we're be a, all like, what's we're a phone? All hold on, statistic. hold on. What's a phone for? A phone's for calling or making. Yeah, you know I mean. Do you even call people anymore? I you, always call people. You, you hate do. it. I, you hate it. I just hate. I talking call you on the more. Phone. Than, I call you, bro. I don't text. I just hate today. talking on the phone. Like I hate texting. And dude, all look that at too. these fucking fingers, dude. You can't <laughs> sit there and go like this with this little fucking button. I hate texting. I hate talking. Mm. I hate all that shit. I just. I don't know why. I'd much rather do an in person. Let's link up. Let's. Well, you know. Doing this now. Yeah. Let's do something and. <laughs> he moving it because he can. Let's do something in fucking person. It's so much better. Just make sure you're talking. Sh- I'm looking at it and talking to it. Oh, we're. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking bombed right now. This shit's. Fire. I'm super stoned. I wish I could take a dab right now, but I don't have that shit on me. Dude. <clears throat> so we can smoke another fat ass blunt. We should. I wanna. I wanna ask you a few questions. Oh shit! All Only right. time I, whenever I hear that, dude, it's bad news. You know, I don't like that. Well, I'm just gonna ask you a few questions, sir. Where were you the night of this? If you <laughs> could have any superpower, what would it be? Uh, strength. Unlimited strength. You have strength. Unlimited strength, dude. Picking like up what, buildings. Like Hulk and shit. Picking up buildings, dog. <laughs> yeah, what? Pick a building up, swing it at you like a baseball bat. <laughs> That'd be fucking fucked up. Just get a building in this. Imagine bitch. you just going up, bro, and just grabbing a car by both his fucking front tires and just picking it up. That's fat. And just fucking. 
<laughs> Slim. That's what down. I'm. I don't know. That's just what my shit is, dude. I know right. it's like stereotypical. I know probably like yeah, he wants to be strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it makes sense. It fits your character. Yeah, dude. Every but, time I ask these questions, I never ask like myself. If I could get, like Thor, bro. If I could be just like Thor, that'd be like the. Well, main. he has strength and fucking. He got everything flying, fucking, dude. That shit's fat. <laughs> Electricity and shit. Thunder God, bro. Wow. Well. Dude, that's like the most confusing thing is electricity. Like, how we figured this shit out. Yeah. This is what I, I was saying. I don't even so want to think about that, so, dude. You so like, blow me Like, up. me or you, <laughs> me or <laughs> you f- having all these lights and shit, and then, boom, one day we have no more electricity. Imagine he's just and then, dark. No, imagine <laughs> having to try and figure out how to get it back. Well, or never knowing what electricity is and just hoping that one day you randomly come well if up it was like shit. that bro then it's easier for sure if you were just like not even know what the fuck it is but you're like damn it's fucking dark out this bitch well, <laughs> and you're just like you know like, that's how they figured they were like yo it's dark bro we need to figure fire. this shit out it started with fire dude that was like torture right, so so we're we're, we're let, let's role play we're the people back in the day dude yo it's dark uh, let's make fire. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> Fire's not enough though, because it's like burning our shit down. Like uh, the motherfucker probably like, hmm. I wonder what happens if I fly this motherfucking kite. I know, here. Yeah, I knew you were going to the kite. <laughs> All right, so that's like, not really exactly. That's, that's not the that's way. Definitely not. It's, what it's just a, it's not. It was uh, Nikola Tesla or something did create some crazy shit. Yeah, dude, yeah. electricity isn't that old, bro. It really ain't, bro. For us, I don't know Apparently history. I don't know the history days. facts, dude. So, like, if you know them, just let me know, dude, because I don't know it. I did research on them, but I don't remember. You be researching I don't, I don't remember it enough to say it right now. Yeah, I, I know it wasn't Ben Franklin. But, like, I'm just I heard thinking that about it. Like, just because I've said it. I've said it was Ben Franklin, and they fucking well, told no, me. Well, no, dude, think, think about it. Like, that I was wrong. Electricity, like, a, 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 a thing that zaps you, bro. Ah, uh, yeah. We are controlling that shit and just. You know what I be thinking? Like, Electricity, like, you know how you blow, rub. TVs say you blow rub my mind. Say you rub on this couch, right? You get a static, a static charge, electricity, and then you tap. And like, what if that's how? Like, it's like I don't know, dude. Something in it's like something it's is like causing wind a lot flowing of friction in the air, like friction. In the I air. mean, well, fire was caused by friction, friction apparently. So, well, yeah, fire like, like definitely friction. is friction. But then electricity, hot, would electricity be the same thing then? I don't know, man. I'm high as fuck right now. <laughs> You're blo- you, yeah. Shit, this you is boggling how people, my... Dude, this is how people shit. figure shit out. They just ask questions and then they I go... I don't know, bro. If we was running around with fucking, you know, leave shorts. There's and, no way we were just running around with leave shorts and then... Like, ah, oh, someone. I got this it. What I was, so this is what I was saying. That, how did someone just like, yo, we need to sell, find some way to harness lightning? Like, I don't think anybody was, like, there's no fucking way. There's no way. Man, I Someone don't was mean, just flying a kite and, like, boom, I got zapped, uh, survived the zap, and then was, like... Oh, we're going to make some shit out of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, ah, that shit's fat. Look you at didn't me. even capture it, dog. You didn't put it in a bottle. Like, like it's, they probably were, like, oh, it's the outside that hurts. <laughs> yeah, it's making that noise, and it hurts, dude. Dude, that's crazy. I don't, know. I don't understand this shit. So if we Tell lost, you what, the first motherfucker to invent getting drunk? Now, that's fat. Like, that's been around forever. Dude, that's Dude, fat. they've been doing opium forever, bro. Yeah. They've been fucking... There's studies, like, pictures and drawings in, in caves and shit of... Not caves. Fucking pyramids and shit of them doing fucking... With opium plants. Like the yeah, the fucking, motherfucker boy. They just love they been getting fucked up. They've been getting whoever fucked got up, whoever bro. found out what weed was was fat too. Like that's way too fat. Everything used to be hemp. I heard some crazy shit about why hemp isn't or why it got demonized and shit. That the cost of lumber or or trees to make the to make paper was like taxed or some shit like that so there's this guy who owned mad land with all the tree all the trees he didn't have hemp he had trees he couldn't really sell it so this is like a botched version of it terrible so he's the guy who came up with the reefer madness and all that shit and demonized marijuana to get it elite uh 
Ill- illegalized or whatever the fucking word I'm trying to say. Get that shit more legal. To make it illegal, <clears throat> no, so that he so that paper wouldn't be hemp anymore. So that it would be all his fucking land so that he could become and that's how it stayed. What the fuck? Yeah, it's crazy. Fuck that dude. <laughs> fuck that dude. He takes away my breathing. Yeah, dude. Like it's crazy how marijuana was illegal and like, yeah, it seems like we're forgetting shit right now, but like no, we're just stoned and I'm goofy and I don't really Being know stoned is better what than the fuck I'm bad. talking about when it like I'll as tell far you one as thing. the facts Being go, stoned I'm trying to remember it. Being stoned is better than not being stoned. Yes, it is. Fucking wise words, man. I'm telling you. Everything's better when you're high. Bro, what? When you're stoned, that that, nah, that, be, that Wiz Khalifa song is so fucking perfect. The, I, I'd be Everything mad. is better when you're high. Everything's better when you're high. Dude, <laughs> yeah. that song, that dude. was it, dude. That was like, that was Wiz it. Khalifa, he captured man. that. That motherfucker was a beast. Remember when he made people stop smoking blunts for a little bit? Yeah, he actually <laughs> didn't get me. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was a blunt I guy. Was, I was smoking hell I didn't fat like blunts. papers. Papers were burning too fast for the me. The only thing I age. liked papers because is because of my pops. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I watched, I always watched him. Well, have papers these are papers. fine when they're fatties, bro. When they're fatties, it's it's perfect. That's what I'd be smoking now. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. I mean, I smoke a blunt here and I'm there. I'm just got the job. I'm on the whole. Old, I'm, I'm all on, on bubbles. I'm on the old head time. I'm all on bubblers. I'm on that old head riding the Harley time. Like I'm like that oof, shit is so gnarly, I'm 26 bro. years old, but I'm living like I'm 45. You know what I mean? Going to bike week and shit. That's by so myself gnarly. and then found people. I found people. You I found my people. Like proper. I found people I knew that were there. Oh word! It was so fun. Like I thought I was going to have to buy this expensive ass hotel. I wish room. I had a bike just so I could go to that. Bro, don't be scared of the bikes. Bikes you are see gnarly. me fucking ride. Bro, I can't even get in the DMV for fucking regular shit right now, let alone a bike. Dude, the DMVs are so You'd trash. Be, easy. The DMVs well, are yeah, so yeah. trash. So trash. So fucking Tell trash. Tell me about it, bro. I'm literally fucking I don't even try to get in and do the shit like the registration. But I got I got fucking six different whips, bro. I know. And, and they're so all crazy. insured, but not one registration is valid. Before, that was before the pandemic, and mm. the DMVs got fucking retarded. Oh, bro, it's like bad, bad. I can't stand no, the DMV. No, it's really bad, bro. I'm telling you. It's really fucking bad. I got like four cars I got to get titled, and I, like, I can't even, I've got them, and I can't even drive them yet. Like, and that's the problem. Like, I got this new Cadillac, this new Range Rover. I gotta get my title, my registration done on the Nova, the the Kia, the truck. I gotta do it on my Lincoln. Only legal motherfucking thing I drive around is my bike, dude. Because the fucking the wow, dealership. Wow, so we're took, riding dirty every time. <laughs> yeah, bro. What you scared, dude? No, I'm just. We're good. I'm going to jail. Not weed's you. Weed's legalized now, apparently. So I don't give a fuck about that. I, I literally got pulled over like. Two mo- like a month or two ago, and I weed's th- legal. I now. threw the weed on the dashboard. Weed is legal. I threw the weed on the dashboard. Fucking they ain't saying nothing. A whole ounce, bro, right on the dash. Uh, just so he- I'd be like, listen, it stinks, bro. It does stink. I can't hide that, so I'm gonna just put it on the dashboard. Dog, I'll never forget the day they took away a half of like some of the nicest OG Kush I ever had, and oh, uh, bro, like. 30 minutes after I got it, I was, I like, my boy did some dumb shit, and it was just tragedy. Every time I got They booked. took it, <clears throat> fucking brought me in, gave me a ticket, let me leave. Like, what was the point of bringing me the fuck in? Think about everybody who's still in jail right now for weed, and weed's legal. I'm hoping the motherfuckers get, get out, because free them guys, man. Free it's them fucking guys. crazy. I got booked with weed, bro. Seven times, dude. Wow. Seven times, because I used to be moving it a lot, whatever, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And everyone, I guess I never... I everyone has sold weed <laughs> dude, at one point in their life. Dude, I used to have the big shit, and I'd, I'd always be rolling mm-hmm. around with like five pounds, but I only get caught with like an eighth or an ounce. I swear to God. That's sketchy, I especially swear to God. back then <clears throat> driving with weed. Oh, like, 100%. I was, going, I was going down, down. but I was, was going down, though. I was going over the bridge when I would cop all that shit, man. That's an even bigger charge, riding mm. over state lines with that shit. Yeah. You got caught by the port, gone. Smoked. Yeah, be forgetting that the state lines and shit. That's so I wonder weird. if that's the thing, though. Like, if you if if you do that now... Like I wonder what happens. Like that's the thing. I'm what? 
if you like cross state lines. Like I tell you what, over well, in, uh, so in Maryland, I don't know how in Maryland, in and, Maryland, that shit ain't legal, bro. Well, no, it was decriminalized <laughs> in PA before Jersey. Jersey yeah. it used to be so bad, dude. Maryland, not a good place to have weed at. These motherfuckers in Jersey would just hunt kids down like the thirteen-year-old kids just smoking a joint and terrorize them for real. I fucked a lot. I mean, that's just like. What they had to do, I guess, to make themselves feel better. Like, fucking bastards. They had to reach the quota. Ah, oh, you fucking bastards. I'm going to make your parents beat the shit out of you. Yeah, and they're not worrying about the fucking heroin addicts and shit. Oh, but... they're good, bro. They're good. They're just over there shooting up. Yeah. Don't like, worry about them. They gave people fucking needles and shit. I work in Camden, bro, since I was 12 years old. I've been working in them streets. I've seen them. I've seen everything. Mm-hmm. I've seen everything, bro. It's fucking, it's, yeah, it's funny. It's dark and Dude, sad every single there. morning I drive there in the morning, like six, maybe four There's so many pockets, though. Bro, it's There's like, like the same people still Atlantic standing City there. Too. I'm like, holy shit. Why? Why are you guys just... Like, yeah, they could do I try anything to, else. I try to speak to them sometimes. Be like, bro, like, what's going on? They're gone. Like, why? Why are you doing this? Go work somewhere. But some of it is definitely programming and abuse and shit from their childhood. Then other shit is the drugs. And then yeah, add bro, on top so of much. that. I'm, like, they they literally are just stuck and don't fucking even know where to go. And even with help, they would still get stuck and lost. Like, that shit is so sad. I lost a lot of friends to this shit, dude, and it's not a good fucking thing to try. Do not do drugs. Do not. Dude, they got the best balance, though. They should be no surfers. No wise words from my uncle. People right? who do dope should be surfers. They have the best balance. <laughs> yo, yo. Bro, how I'm many done, videos dude. you seen of them? I'm <laughs> done, because listen, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> they should be surfers. I once saw this motherfucker sitting on Broadway. I swear to God, he was <laughs> fucking standing fuck. straight up, and he was bent backwards with his finger touching the side. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no fucking way. They should be surfers or some shit. They Gymnastics. Can, yeah, they, they, they're flexible, but they, they, they got good balance. I hate balance. talking shit on it, because it's like, damn, bro. No, yeah, I mean, it's kind of fucked up because some people can't stop. Like, it's an addiction. Like, that's a No, disease. dude, I can't like, stop eating cookies. Yeah, exactly. That's, like, how it is. Like, some, why do like, you think, I, why, off, why why you think I, I offered you Oreos? Because I don't want to eat them. <laughs> wise words from my uncle, dude. Don't do drugs because you will love them. Yeah. <laughs> If you do them, you're fucked because that shit, bro, that shit probably fucking crazy Yeah, drugs shit. are fun. No, they all have their benefit, though. If you're able to get in and get out and not be used by the drug, then... I've never tried. I've never tried none of that shit as long as I've been alive. No, I'm not talking about that. I mean, like, shrooms or weed I've done or, shrooms. Like, alcohol's, a, alcohol's the worst out of everything. Bro, I should have brought the shrooms with me. I had some. I, no, I have shroomy chocolates. I'm chilling. Dude. I don't need to do it for a while. Bro, I'll be out there surfing them fucking wave, boy. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I went hard the, uh, not too long ago and just painted out back in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going, yeah. I was shirtless, painting out back, <laughs> shut up my shit. You know oh how the back go where the grass I is. I could just imagine you, bro. Right on the edge of the grass. The sun was peeking right over the trees. You're probably all back there like, Oof. I was listening to music that was like, oh. Like ambient fucking synths and shit. Just hearing like, that tone. Crazy fucking different. And I painted it. Oh, dude, I'll show you. I'll fucking show you right now what I painted. Talk to the people. Uh, hello. <laughs> He's about to show me some shit. My man just be fucking killing a painting, bro. I don't think they're all the way done. I, was, I don't, how do you leave but me out here? It started with this. It started dude. here. That's where we started, right? I never finished it. It's going to get finished. It's going somewhere. There's going to be like some boats, I think, or some shit. Gnarly. Dude. That turned into fucking like a... This is the journey of the trip. It was It was super... I don't know why I was doing a lot of blue, a lot of bright blue, but then you'll see, obviously, that turned into fucking same style, but started heading into the forest and once i went green i couldn't go back i 
couldn't get out of it. <laughs> I couldn't get out of the green. I got, I got dark. So this is going to be the same thing. You see how I have the same concept for both. So I just didn't splatter with this one. I think I'm going to splatter white on this one. I didn't finish it for a reason because I wanted to do the rest. Oh, This is going to be trees and this is going to be fucking boats. Boats, dude. So that's going to be boats and that's going to be trees and shit. Big old power shit. Yeah, like a gnarly, like, you're like that's the That'd be fire. that's the water. The black is the water. Yeah, dude, this is that's what the fucking Oh no. It was empty, bro. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was a little full, but you know, you either leave, live life like you look at it like a cup. It's either half full or it's half empty. Like I don't know. Like I'm that. higher than a motherfucker right and now. And this is this is how it ended. That's how Whoa. it ended. Yeah, that's, that's too fucking fire. Look at that. That's how it ended. Would you just look at it? Would you just? I'm look just kind of looking. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking oh, with that. that I'm fucking with that, dude. That's super Dr. Seuss. Bro, that's like a lollipop. What the hell, dude? This shit is fat. Can we get? Let me have this. You already have three. Bro, is that a fucking skull, bro? Tell me it's not. It looks like it. Yeah, this is mine now. Chill. Dude, look at it. It's a fucking skull. Yeah. That's what Let I me put it. that in my studio. Whoa, dude. Let me see what. Look at how it swirls from... All right, so, but then, like... That's oh, a... like, there's... Like, microscopic how small it gets. That's insanity. Painting is gnarly, man. That does look like how it just keeps the pattern. Yeah, it's dude, fucking, it keeps the pattern like you did it. You like know that. what that was? It was, was a, a fucking Lingardi and Leviosa. <laughs> Leviosa? <laughs> Are you sick of Harry Potter at me, bro? <laughs> it was one of them. Leviosa or whatever Flick the, the wrist, to dude. say. Dude, painting is so fucking fun. I, I wonder. Gotta wipe that up. Talk to the people again. I gotta wipe. That I don't know what to say, dude. Tell them fucking uh, your birthday. Man, my birthday coming up, boy. We about to go crazy. November, man. November 15th. It's a movie. Tell them how tall you are. I'm like five foot four. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> what, man? I'm 6'3". Yeah. Are you? Yeah. 6'3", walking around this bitch. What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Damn, cuz. That's a hard one. Like, what I eat all the time, or like, what my favorite... Your favorite food in life ever, ever created. This is uh, a weird podcast. The air conditioner, water, f- fucking falling. Uh, Better keep this away from the computer. Yeah, definitely do that. <laughs> definitely. But, my sushi. Favorite, I love sushi, but it ain't my favorite. I th- I'm, it's like torn like between a few things, man. What is it? Listen. It's like, dude, I don't know. I I'll tell you what your favorite is if I you listen. I fuck with lasagna. I fuck with panzerottis. Panzerottis are good. I fuck with pot- potalios, man. What are those? Huh? A potalio? 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 From What's the that? corner stores, boy. What's a potalio? It's just ground beef or whatever they put in it. It's cheesesteak. It's like a panzerotti, but just mini, like... It's a whole completely different thing. Is it like an empanada? It it's like an empanada, yes. Very like an empanada, but it's a pasta leo. A pasta leo. I'd probably be saying it fucking weird every time. <laughs> but I know what the business is. I've been getting them every day. Is it a pasta leo or a pasta leo? Pasta leo. No s. It's spelled with an s, but it's silent. It, yeah, you know I mean. What's up with them silent letters? Do they fuck like like lasagna? Like where that where the G go from? Like where's the G at? I like Lloyd Lloyd with two L's. I get that. Lloyd. I don't get it. But like psychology, My thing is, psychology has a P before it. Why the fuck? What what psychologically? Why is there My a P is, in the beginning bro, of psychology? Why the fuck does a does a letter W start with a D? Like that fucking blows my mind. What? The letter W starts <laughs> with a D, bro. W. It's two U's. W though. W. 
Yeah, it's two U's. Like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, W. Like, what the fuck? That's I'm going to start one. saying two U. W is a weird thing, bro. <laughs> Tell me it ain't. X. Say the ABCs, bro. X isn't in the beginning of many words. Can you say your ABCs backwards? Fuck no. Don't even ask me this shit. I ain't doing that. I can't. I can't do it. Not even remotely. Has close. that ever been a question cops ask? Yeah, they ask that shit. No, they don't. They did. No, there's. I feel like that's a fake rumor. <laughs> I that saw videos. Real. It's probably fake. There's no way that was real. You ever did have, like, what was the craziest time a couple, yeah, with like a cop, bro? Because I got one for you. You got to go first, though. There's a couple, like, what kind of crazy? Just a crazy, like, the crazy, like, like, asshole crazy, like, cool wi- crazy, like, like wildest, got away with it crazy. Like, wildest thing to happen with the police in your lifetime. Hmm. Because I got some shit. Yeah, I got some weird ones. I'll tell this fucked up story. It's not the craziest shit because I'll probably tell that story when that when that homie comes on the podcast. But oh, this is crazy. It's fucking stupid. I was um <laughs> my one boy when I lived in Marlton, we would party at this one chick's house right in Medford which is right next to Marlton. And Marlton and Medford cops are the two worst towns of cops. Evesham nothing, is bad. Yeah, Eve, that's Evesham. Nothing, nothing is worse than that. And it was just like crazy corruption, weird, sketchy type shit. And I was with this one chick, went and drove her back. Went back to the party, hung out. I wasn't drinking this night either. Like, I was completely cool. I didn't drink much at that age, actually. And um, I was just a super stoner. And my one boy was like, yo, please come back. Please come back. I need a ride home. Da, da, da. And I was like, bro, I'm here type shit. You know, I was <laughs> there. But then this other girl that I was talking to wound up showing up. So I actually <laughs> chilled with her. And when you have the car at age 18, you're the fucking guy. You're the one who does everything. So I gave her a ride home, got some road head, rode back. So I guess it seemed like I was going back and forth and doing whatever. So my boys like blow me up, but when I dropped went with her, I st- I was staying there. I was like, "Yo, I'm not even going to go back." And he was blowing me the fuck up to go pick him up, right? So at this point I'm like, "I shouldn't go. They're going to pull me over. I can just tell there's cops like everywhere right now." It was only like one o'clock. It wasn't even that late. I leave to go pick them up. And the cop pulls me over. So when he pulled me over, I pulled into a Wawa. And the ho- the neighborhood was right there, like right past the Wawa. I almost got to the spot to pick him up. So I pull over, and cop fucking just yanks me out of the car, start like an asshole just being a dickhead, like, you didn't pull over when I, when I signaled. And there was a cross, like a cross fucking whatever, and that, so I was about to go straight at the light. I wasn't just going to make a right or it was a dark down there. I was fucked that. So I made a left, went straight at the light and made the first left into the Wawa. So he pulled me out on some crazy shit like that. I was a de- pizza delivery guy at the time. So my car smelled like just like pizza. And I did smoke black and milds. The mixture of Domino's pizza and black and milds smells like weed. It's weird. But I didn't have weed in my car or nothing like that. So he was being a dickhead to, to said my car smelled like weed and that he wanted to search it. And I was like, I know my rights type shit. You're not getting in my car. And he went in my fucking car. Keep in mind, I only went back out to pick up my boy and shit. He didn't find any weed in the car, so he got on his hands and knees and fucking scraped up everything on my floor. Like, all the leaves... Like, said that this is vegetation and shit. I was like, it's fucking leaves. <laughs> it's fucking salad. Because, like, I it's got in and out. Fucking lettuce out my McChicken fat. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? So he does that. I get arrested, thrown in the... Because this is weed. I was This is, like, a while ago. And he pulls me in. I get arrested. And now the only person that I can call to get out is the person that I went to pick up. So I call my boy who was blowing me up to get pick him up like yo you need to pick me up i just got arrested he was like i know i was in the escalade that you parked next to and watched the whole thing so the boy that i was going to pick up 
I got pulled over and got arrested for no reason because he had already gotten a ride back. They were stopping at Wawa to get food. Yo. So I was did all that for no reason. Got pulled over. You're probably pissed off. They processed. No, it was whatever. They processed the shit. They charged me. I had to pay like a thousand dollars in fines of weed for point zero zero three of marijuana, which means that someone just rolled weed in my car one day or whatever. Which I don't even think it was real. You it was lab it. test resulted, and I and I had a witness. They had a lab test result. Yeah, that's what it was. Point zero 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 three. Remember, I told you he scraped up all the dirt on my floor, and said that there was weed in that. Yo. Yeah, so that's that's a lie. It's fake. That's bullshit. They dumb fuckers do that to me, Dude, boy. I'm when going When he down. searched me, when I'm talking, when he searched me, dog, he fucking searched me too. Like he grabbed all on my fucking shit, dude. And that's the one thing my boy said when I called. He's like, "Yeah, I saw him grab your fucking shit like three times." It's because because when he he grabbed my shit, like wasn't searching, like he grabbed it. Like and I like moved away from it, and he tried. He was trying to make it seem like I was trying to fuck with him, so that he could throw me on the ground and shit. But it was it was a sketchy, weird situation. It was fucked, fucked up. up. Yeah, so I had to pay the fine. He so my boy that I went That's to pick my boy up. that I went to pick up picked me up from the police station. That's wild. How fucking stupid is How that? How stupid turned. is that? How the and that's not turned. the craziest shit. That's just a fucked up story. And there's no other time I would ever tell that. So it just made sense to tell that one. Yeah. I remember the first time I got booked, man. How old were you? I was like, it's my first day smoking weed. I remember it's the first time I ever smoked weed. Wow. Dude, it's fucked up for me. It was the funniest day, though. Damn. I was sitting down in Gloucester City on the fucking, down by the piers and shit on the river. Right, we're all chilling there, all of us on our bikes. I'm like 11 years old or something like that. We're all chilling, and here come the old kids. You know what I mean? Here come the old kids, man. I'm all little. A lot of my bike and my friends, so they got fucking all kinds of nick bags and this and that. Mm-hmm. Fucking just came from Camden, got a bunch of nick bags. You know, fucking rolled them up. Mm-hmm. Dude, and they were like, hit this. I'm like, what the fuck is that? You know what I mean? I was like. I didn't know, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it. Everybody else is doing it. I smoked out of a can for my first time. I smoked a blunt my first time. Oh, yeah. So what they the just handed fuck? you that shit? They handed me it, bro. I smoked it. I hit it like, bro, it was like fucking 15, 16 people off of like one blunt. I swear to God, it was so fucked That's up. That's how it was back dude, in the day. It was like 16 <laughs> motherfuckers off one blunt, and I hit that shit like five times, bro. And they were all like, oh, pass it, man. I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't even know what to do. <laughs> yeah, but the long story short, you got, got stoned. Over, I was we were riding around, right, and then me and my boy we were fucking on some fucking high shit. We went in the pizza shop, right? I'm all stupid high now, bro. And like, <laughs> I'm Did you sitting steal up, some pizza. No, I'm sitting there ordering the pizza, bro. And like in the middle of my order, I let out. I fucking farted loud as fuck, dude. <laughs> <You're tired. laughs> I farted so loud, bro. And there was like a fucking restaurant full of people just sitting there eating pizza and mm. shit. And bro, it was the funniest thing. Everybody just started laughing because how funny it was. And I just felt so embarrassed. You got arrested for that? No, no. That's not, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm just going through the day for you because it was pretty funny. Mm. So we got the pizza and it was funny. We were laughing. <laughs> he farted, this and that. <laughs> mm. And then we're walking around and shit, all high still. And my boy's looking in the backyard for, he sees this big mm. wheel joint, like, in this fat joint. He hops the fence, right? And he goes and fucking grabs it, starts fucking stealing it. He I starts goes, stealing and it. And then all you hear is the fucking back door of a house open. And it was this big ass dude, bro. Big as fuck. And we started running. Hopped the fence, started running down the like alley. Like a motherfucker your size? Uh, what, now? I was, yeah, I was small as hell. No, yeah, big, was, like, was he your size now? Yeah, he was a lot, like, more fit. <laughs> more fit. <laughs> like, he was fast, dude. We were little fucking fast little runs, dude. And my boy was slow as shit. I was running. I turned around, bro, and fucking tried to tackle the dude. And he fucking tore me up, dude. Mm. You know the chain link fences? He had my face up against that with his knee. Holding me for the, the cops. The guy who owned... Oh, he held you for the cops. Oh, yeah. Man. My boy got away, though. I got him out of there. I uh, turned around and I and thought... he's I was, the one who stole it. I know, but listen. I was going to turn... I, bro, 
That makes you I mad. I was See, it's your boy. It was your boy who got I, you I fucked I thought up. I was going to turn around and just fucking tackle the shit out of this dude. I thought wrong. Mm. <laughs> and then I got arrested. They took me there to the fucking cop, to the police station, fucking called my mom. She came down. They got your name on the list. Now they know. I was like, on probation, dude, for that fucking bullshit. You got put on probation? Yeah, from the time I was 11 till I was like 17. Wow. I was still doing bad shit Cause the you, whole Yeah, time. you stayed on it. Once they, once they got you on it, they kept you. See, I was lucky when I was on probation. They, It was like a thing where if you, they can randomly test you for six months, and if you fail that, then you're on it for two years. And I was like 16 at the time. And they pulled, and I, I stopped smoking. No, I didn't stop smoking because I knew that I could just like use a a Listerine. You know, remember those little Listerine strips, the mouth breath. Yeah, yeah. You put one of those on the side of your mouth, or you chew a really peppermint gum and let that sit on, like a fresh one, let it sit on the side. But when you go into this meeting, they don't let you chew gum or anything. So the Listerine mints were like perfect. So I put like three on the left side of my mouth. It was a swab. And I went there, first time I ever did a swab test, held it right where I had the Listerine mint, and the fucking peppermint burnt whatever things I had, and I passed that test, and then I never had to do probation again. Mm. (laughs) Yeah, but that's sketchy how they do that shit and keep kids on probation and shit. Dude, it was fucked up. For me, I mean, like, I was always in trouble. It was your boy's fault. But then I, I, I got in trouble again when I was, like, 16. I've wanted to do this the whole time. When I was like 16, dude, I fucking got booked again, walking home from a party. And this one was even worse. It was about to go real bad for me, but I wound up, my lawyer took care of the case. He's like my uncle and shit. Oh, that's it's fire. But I represent myself. Dude. Bitch. Nah, I can't do that. Not as good as he. He walks I in. I do, and I my have. Life, dude, my, you should have seen. You should have seen the last time I was in court. Because at this point, I understand. Like, and I know that it's just a different language and shit. And it was about some weed shit. Actually, it was about a pipe and shit that wasn't mine. And when I go in, the judge asked me like seven times, like, "Are you sure you don't want to take time for an attorney and shit?" And I was like, "Yes." Like, I'm representing myself. She was like, "Okay, this is the new date. Come back then." As I'm walking out, this dude in the aisle like grabs my arm. He's like. Just get a lawyer, man. <laughs> and I was like, no. I was like, no, I'm good. Court dog. is funny as fuck, so, dude. I know. So I go back like two, and I saw a fucking. I won't put. His, I won't put him out there like that. I saw yeah. a celebrity there, but I won't put. It, I'm, I'm gonna put you out there like that. Fucking um. When I went back, I talked to the. You talk to the prosecutor. You don't talk to the judge. Yeah. They they handle everything. So when I talked to the guy, I was like, "Yeah, you got um, you guys just have no proof that this is mine." And he was like, "Well, what do you mean?" And I was like, "Well, I was the passenger. He got charged. He didn't get charged. I I there's no proof just because it was under my seat that because it was a open bottle and bowls, bowls were in the glove box. Like they, they were in the glove box. The owner of the car, could, you know what I mean." If he's claiming he doesn't know, that doesn't mean that I'm, you know what I mean? I basically, but it didn't even go like that. This is exactly how it went. It was quicker. It was just like I said, he was like, I was like, yeah, you guys have no proof that that I'm, I'm the owner of any of any of these, these in the car. And he like looked at the paper and looked up at me. He's like, well, I got to give you something. And I was like, well, I'm not taking the paraphernalia or anything. He was like, well, open container. I was like, that's not mine either. And he's like, you don't understand. I have to give you something. And that's where, because I didn't have a lawyer. You know what I mean? And this, I'm learning on the spot in my case. So I was like, oh, so this is, you're not giving me a choice. This is you trying to like, you're saying like, you're either doing this, this, or this. Like, you can pick. So I would have basically just paid thousands of dollars for a lawyer to do exactly what I got the option of picking. And he was like, I was like, well, which one's the least money? And the least one I have to worry about. He was like, if you take this open beverage, fine. It's only 75 bucks. But if you ever get caught with an open beverage container again in a car in New Jersey, you have to do set like 60 hours of community service. No way. No matter what. That's bullshit. It was that or I had to take the paraphernalia things, which was way worse. It would have been like two years probation and all the extra shit. So I was like, I'll pay the 75 fucking dollars, you piece of shit, because it it was about to turn into a little, not an argument, but it was going to turn into that. You know what I mean? 
So at the end of the day, I won. That's a big win. I saved thousands of dollars. I handled it myself, and now I understand how they work. It's just a grimy system. We already understand yeah. that. So when I go into the into the thing, this is the same judge who has asked me ten times in a row, "Are you sure you don't want a lawyer? Are you sure you don't want a lawyer? Are you sure?" Like they were trying to make me feel insecure about it, to make me feel like I needed to just waste money on the law, like a lawyer, and or g- have them appoint me one so yeah. that I could get some more fucked up shit. So when I walked in, dude, she said, this, this, everything's taken care of. Have a great day. Literally, that was it. And I walked out and uh, everything was handled. It was like, so when dude, I got you, booked, you can represent yourself straight up. When I got booked for that shit, you can represent yourself. The second time I got back, Mary was probably one of the worst because we were walking home from this party in Westville, me and my boy. And we were walking through the back of this apartment complex. We were coming around the backside, taking the cut route. So we're not getting booked because it's like. You were doing uh, sketchy shit, 11 though. A, 11 o'clock at night. You were doing shit that. They were that, hard body on curfew, bro. We were young. Oh, yeah. So well, no, yeah, you couldn't be we're out. We're all past, fucked up. Past nine or 10. It's all wintertime. I got my big ass Carhartt on. Me and my boy got the same jacket. <laughs> like we had the same exact Carhartt, all black. We had like fucking beers all over us, dude, all packed up. Mm-hmm. And we got fucking weed. On us, you know, it's fucking cigarettes. It's not that bad, but mine are having cigarettes and it's frowned upon to them. I was like, No, yeah, fuck? well, now, but like, what happened was we were walking the around, that too, we we're or the walk, age, we we're walking around, dude, the complex, and then there's like those little side alley street that you walk to, and like, you can't see nothing until you're there, and it's like a little short road, probably from here to that wall, mm-hmm. and we turned that corner, dude. It was just a bunch of cops, dude, fucking got, fucking with another set of kids that came from the party, too. You know what I mean? They got them bagged up. We'd seen them real quick. They shined a light on us. We yeah, turned Al, around and started dip. running. He got a dip. Dip right up on the train tracks, dude. He went this running way. Running from cops as a kid is fucking fun. Dude, my boy ran that way down the tracks, and I turned the right. I thought... Because once you get to that age, you start doing thought, fucked up I, shit. I thought he was going to, like, run down, like up the trail like I did. So I took the right real quick to run back towards where I was going. And uh, it didn't work out too good. You're so dumb. You ran right back into him? <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, I trucked the fucking shit out this pussy, bro. Jeez. Like, I, he was, I was like 16, 17 at the time. So I was kind of bigger than... I was almost damn near six foot. You know what I mean? At You're smaller age. than... But I was skinnier and shit. But like, dude... I was running full force and he came popping out the bushes, dude. And I hit him with a fucking... St- Boom! Pop him with a truck <laughs> stick, uh, bro. I hit him so hard; it was like you just heard him air out, <laughs> like. And then he somehow he got a hold of my foot, right? He got a hold of my foot, bro, and like swung my momentum and fucking put me into the train track rocks. Mm. And I was like sliding on my chest on that shit, bro. Fuck my like the pictures I had when I was younger. Of my chest when that shit happened, bro. Send like, me the pictures. I'll throw them up on this. I don't have them oh, no more. Damn. They're gone in the old phone. You know how that goes. Damn. But yeah, long like I went to court for that shit. They were trying to give me a assault a battery on an officer or whatever. Like some kind of an assault on a police officer bullshit. Oh, you, well, you chucked him. Yeah, I definitely did. And he, I still see him from time to time. <laughs> and he'd be looking at me like, Johnny Bone. I'm going to lock you the fuck up, yeah. motherfucker. Like, <laughs> he ain't never here. forgive me for that shit. <laughs> fucking but crazy. yeah, they sent they, they sent me to boot camp, bro. Like, that's what wow. my, my lawyer actually intentionally got me to go into that program instead of getting charged just because he wanted me to stop being a dickhead. Yeah, you probably needed it. He's like I said, he's like my uncle. So boot camp. He fucking he put made me go to boot camp. That was the worst thing ever, dude. Fucking boot camp. I dog. hate. I hate. I hate. Cops. That was like the biggest. That was the scariest thing. Is that as a twelve year old boy, we're gonna send you to boot camp. <laughs> yeah, I got. I really got sent, bro. I really got sent, <laughs> dude. And it wasn't that no, it wasn't scary. no military, it wasn't no military bullshit neither. Uh, yeah, it was I, fucking boot camp. It was dog. a bunch of fucking cops, dude, just Johnny yelling in Bo's your face. Johnny got to go boot camp. Yo, <laughs> I'll tell you what. How was it? What did they make you do? 
So, yeah, they made you run like five miles a day, nonstop. Oh, my God. Until you're fucking done the five miles. That sounds then like football got, practice. No, it's <laughs> like it's like hard, bro. Like, like, literally, bro, they were making everybody throw up. I wasn't, I wasn't caving. I was, like, showing them, like, fuck you. Watch this. I'm fat with this shit. I'm running <laughs> all fast. I run five miles. I'm going to be I'm, your boss one day. And, like... Yeah, you just got fucking sheriffs yelling in your face the whole time. And you, then you got this one sexy-ass sheriff. This bitch fine as shit, bro. I swear to God, like, three of them. It's a setup. And, like, I was literally like, all right, this ain't too bad. Like, they were all in their shorts and shit, bro. It's a setup. I was going to rail them bitches, man. Maybe I can one day when I get famous, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what's up, Officer Saxon? I'm going to fuck you hard. Out in <laughs> Yo, she was so fine, bro. So Filipino cop, bro. Oh she was so gosh. mean that, it, like, it was... It was well, like, Officer Paxson, that's the word. What, what's her name? I ain't saying it again. You Officer ever... Pax, Paxson. Nah, it's, it's Saxon. Saxophone. Saxophone. She, Blow my Johnny's bird on like that. saxophone. Dude, I'm fucking craving some fucking food. I'm Bro. gonna. I'm about to go munch. Thank you so much for coming, dude. Bro, I'm about to eat some shit too. Let's get. Let's get like. What you want Oreos? Wawa, dude. No, I'm not going to Wawa. Wawa. You just ate a big ass fucking plate of dinner. What are, you, what are you trying to say, dude? No, no, I made it. I can't. Dude. I made that shit because I fucking flex for the homies, bro. Dude, that was like some fucking Chef Ramsay be proud type shit. <laughs> he would. Yeah, he's, like, <laughs> he's <laughs> all the pre- It's all about the presentation, huh? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, dude, thank you so much. I love you, dog. Love you. Thank, thank you, you guys for listening, man. Johnny Bones. Getting me so I mean? Spell it with a Z, though. Like at the end of the bones, so. We'll be back soon, guys.